Fasten your seatbelt, Kim. You guy in charge. Well, next two days at least. Yep, God help us. You're bad enough as a deputy. You're going to be insufferable as a stand-in head. Just want to keep standings up while Rachel's at a conference. Yeah. Sir, have you seen it? Seen what's that? Travis, I just went back. Thanks, Sam. Morning. Eddie Lawson, Deputy Ed. Have you got permission to be here? You do know this is school property. Bernadette Callahan from the Traveller Education Service. Right. I'm looking for uh, Miss Mason. She's at a conference in London, I'm afraid. Right, well, these will be your responsibility then. Eight fresh faces. No one told me about this. Well, they only arrived on Saturday. It's all been a bit of a rush, but we'll get there. Great. Well, welcome to Waterloo Road. Let's go inside and get you enrolled and allocated to classes. We heard there was a breakfast club. That's right. We'll make that our first stop then, shall we? Right. Who shall I give these to? Yeah, that'll be me. Thank you. We can, um... I'm very stringent on administration, Mr Lawson. It's essential that pupil traveller records are updated regularly. Of course. In my experience, a lot of schools don't care about what happens to the traveller children. They won't go out of their way for these pupils. Well, Waterloo Road will be the exception to the rule. I mean, paperwork for an extra eight children. It's not much to ask for, is it? Mm. If you need anything, you've got my number. I mean, hot, yeah, definitely hot. How are you feeling, babe? Still a bit sore? A bit. How long till there? Uh... That all you think about. I told you it's not going to be until a couple of weeks. Weeks? I'm trying to say I'm not worth the wait. I have a little peek so I can look forward to. Uh, Janice! A word, please. It's in a bit, yeah. My office. <sighs> so. What was going on down there, then? Yes. We've all been exposed to the details of your breast augmentation, Janice. We do not need to see the results. Thank you very much. <sighs> Sorry, Bear. Since having them done, I just can't help but show them off. Yeah, but this is a school, Janice. This isn't a glamour shoot. I think it's a good idea to put your jumper on and stop drawing attention to yourself. Well, dear miss, but I don't fit anymore. Hiya, miss. Janice, media's got a lot to answer for, I tell you. The beauty industry, big boobs, small waist, girls killing themselves trying to fit in because they're told that that's the way that they should look. Oh, hark at Mary Whitehouse. Pick your battles, Kim. Everybody's doing it now. Be able to get them off the shelf soon. In fact, I might ask Janice where she went for it. Steph, oh, lighten up. Listen, if you had the money and the chance, don't tell me you wouldn't want knockers like an 18-year-old. Well, I know I would. Just so I get my facts straight, it is school property. Yeah, I thought so. And you had no idea they were here? Well, I don't know. I've only just got in. Not yet. I'll go and speak to them now. Yeah, bye. Hi, Eddie. Uh, have you got a minute? It's Janice. I... What's all this? Only eight traveller kids, all with different abilities. OK, so no one knows what level they're at, or even if they're going to be here this time next week. And the fact that they've marched in in the middle of a term when we've got exams coming up and all my teachers are stressed, but is that a problem to us? Oh, no! Eddie, I still need to... Well, you know what this means? Hmm, theft, vandalism and litter. Yeah, more work. 
assuming we can get them to do any in the first place. You shout a bit louder, I don't you? Yeah. Uh, what? Three gypsies in my first period? I bet that's more than anyone else has got. I think the correct term is travellers. The world's gone mad. No, it was always gypsies in my day. It's like teaching with your hands tied behind your back. Well, if that's what it takes, then that's what you've got to do. Look, I'm not saying that our kids are the brightest sparks in Rochdale, but... Well, they give that lot a run for the money in the grey matter department. Those are the facts. Look, the facts are, Grantley, that these traveller kids are our responsibility until they move on. So just shut up with the phobia, will you? It's doing me head in. Eddie Lawson, Deputy Ed. What are the kids supposed to have done now? <laughs> Nothing. As far as I know, they've settled in very happily. So me be with them. I'm not going in there. I think you'll find it's the law. Talking of which, you do know this is school property. Is that right? So you haven't got permission then? Well, one of the lads will have sorted that out. Yeah, well, I'll be following that up as well. How old is, uh... Kyle. He's 14. Oh. You got maths first period with me. <laughs> no way. I'm not trying to be the bad guy here. You don't need to try. I've got a legal obligation for you to attend. Why, what are you gonna do? Threaten to have him taken away? By the time you get the paperwork through, we'll be gone. Save yourself the trouble. I think you'll find I can surprise you there, and I normally get my own way. Oh, here we go. Look, Mr... Uh, Peters. Mr Peters, you have the choice to live your life how you want. But why inflict it on the kids, eh? At the expense of their education. I'm happy with my life. I'm sure you are. Looks like the life of Riley from where I'm standing. But while you're under 16, I need you in there with the rest of the kids. Either that or I'm going to call the council right now. Dad, I reckon this man in charge is very serious. <laughs> He's a cheeky little scamp, isn't he? Yeah. I'll have a little bit less of your cheek and a bit more getting your head down. You better go with the man, son. Why do you like I'm going to learn anything? You know what will happen if you don't go. They'll just make trouble for us like they did the last time. All right. But it won't be good. Don't say you haven't been warned. Oh, okay. you? Wait, you turn, that's mine, that. Yeah, don't see your name on it. Listen, right, I'm in the queue before you. That's disgusting, did you see that? A couple more sausages, please. They've all gone, haven't they, Lord? They go. What? Right, right. If you've all finished, we're going to get you sorted into classes, all right? Uh, if Colin Hastings, Donna Ellis... Hiya, we've got Donna Ellis for you. Donna, come in and, um, mind yourself a desk. Great. Kim? Yeah? They're all doing revision. What am I supposed to do with her? I'm sure you'll find something. Look, half of these traveller kids can't even speak English, let alone French. Have a look through your worksheets. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. OK, boys, do you want to follow me? Donna. Plenty more of those if you play your cards right. Kyle, your seat's next to Colin. Will you take it, please? I'm really thinking about things here. Uh, like, who actually needs maths? Well, everybody does. Does a zookeeper? A bus driver? A bus driver needs to count his fares at the end of his shifts. Yeah, but that's counting, isn't it? It's not maths. Who needs equations and stuff? Venn diagrams? Sir, just send him on. <laughs> I'll send him to the cooler if he don't watch out. Come here. You, sit down there and don't budge. Good lad. I did tell you I didn't want to be here. Not my fault you don't listen. Can't you just pack it in? Some of us actually want to learn here. You? Since when? What's the problem? Hmm? 
I just want to be left to do what I want. Yeah. It's not like I'm stupid. So if everyone just did what they want, what kind of a world would we be living in? No one bothering to go to work? No shops? No schools? More places to park? No law and order? Sounds good to me. Sir, can you just shut him up? Just do your best there, Kyle. He's just going through the motions. What's up with you two? You're still not talking. It's so hard on being around all the time. It's like he dumps me. Now he's grinning at me like he's this really nice guy. Like nothing's wrong. Just wish he'd leave me the hell alone. I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Booker, but my mate's called me Sam. Kyle. You know, sometimes I don't want to be at this school either, but you've got to. I hate it. You don't know anybody when you get there. Nobody wants to know you, so what's the point? You know what it's like? My family move around a lot as well. Caravans? My house is really, but we've never stay in the same place for long. It's like you don't get to make mates, don't get to join clubs. Putting down roots, that's what my mum calls it. When do you think you'd be moving again? Never, I hope. I like it here. Well, I didn't at first, but now I don't want to be anywhere else. You're not the only one who's frustrated this morning. The corridors are full of raging male hormones. What are you talking about? Well, Denise is back, isn't she? Showing off a new look, God help us. Bolton's parading her around the playground like she's a prize cow. Oh, OK. Right, well, we'll have a word. Well, it doesn't help that she's adapted a school uniform beyond all recognition to show it off. It's bound to start a trend. Uniform customisation, we've let it slip too far. Oh, OK, Kim, you do what you need to do. I've got to get on to the LEA about traveller funding. Okay. Miss, this is Kyle and I don't want to be at Waterloo Road. Oh, that's a shame. Sam was really looking forward to meeting you. Where are you? Sam, you want to let Kyle sit next to you? Punchy headline. Man buys dogs. Very good. Anyone else? Boy escapes from school at lunchtime. <laughs> good. <laughs> Any others? Traveller forced to sit in lesson while quad bike rusts in the rain. <laughs> it's a bit wrong. How about quad bike rusts while pupil learns? Are you boys okay with your reading and writing? He does it for his dad, miss. Oh, is your dad blind? No, he just can't read or write. <laughs> Well, if you have any problems, I'm sure Sam won't mind helping you out, Kyle. And Lauren, do you want to give Colin a hand? Yeah. <laughs> Sir. Well, mm, don't just stand there, lad. Take it off. My trousers are soaked. I'm a fee. Yeah, all right, all right. Settle down. It's not like someone's dying. Is it the water tank, sir? No, if it was, there'd be a lot more water. Is that daylight? Oh, I don't believe it. They've only taken the lead off the flaming roof. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I bet your parents are no strangers to the scrap metal yard. <laughs> you. Go to the caretaker's office, get some mops and buckets, and get some dry clothes, boy. Hmm. Well done, Kyle. See what you can do when you put your mind to it. Is there anything else you get up? Well, I like reading, writing, poems and stuff. Well, you've certainly got a lot to see for yourself. Do you know any? I could put down roots, but I say to the suits, you have to give me a choice. Stop shouting over my voice. 
so I move about a bit. Don't see nothing wrong with it. One day I want to see the world. But with my favourite girl. Beat staying in one place. Being bored off my face. I'm not sure about this school. With its policies and rules. My girl said it was alright. And I don't want to fight. So how about you cut me some slack? Before I hit the road. Jack. Did you memorise it all by heart? No, miss. I made it up just now. There's going to be no metalwork department this time next week. What makes you think it was them? Oh, of course it was them. They've had all weekend to do it. Grantly, the whole school is falling apart. What are you going to do? Blame the travellers for the dry rot in the toilets? I'll get someone in. Take a look. I'm telling you, if it's not nailed down... <laughs> Stealing might be pushing it, Grantly. They're not bad kids. Have a read if you get a minute. Oh, well, thanks. Looking forward to it. Uh, is this, um... Soup? Minestrone. me. Ah, you've got a chess club. Are you for geeks, though? Hey, I like chess. Play me dad sometimes. You thought that one up your street. School football team, eh? Cool. What do they like? They're all right, I suppose. Debating society. We're dead good at that. We get to argue for hours on end. <laughs> Maybe. Never had the chance to join a club. It's about, man. I don't know. Taking up our break and all that. What's all this about, Matt? Well, the sooner you get in, the sooner you'll find out. Come on, please, as quick as you can. Right. Basically. We have noticed that the modifications of school uniforms have gone beyond a joke. Oh. Oh. So we're going to have a crackdown. You're going to see all these notices around the school. You're all going to get a letter. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 quiet, please, quiet. Miss, why are you getting all worked up about making the uniform changes now? Yeah. Uh, because everyone's noticed that he's getting out of hand. Oh, but it's really not. A uniform is a uniform because it makes everybody uniform. So you're telling us it's got nothing to do with the fact that Janice came into school looking like Jordan or anything? Hey! Yeah, Who's that, Danielle? Don't be stupid. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Miss? When's this all happening? Now. Now? You're not giving us any warning. Okay, everyone, ties off, jackets off, start from the beginning. I want ties up to the top. Helping her. Why don't you come out? I can't tie. Put your tie on, get your tie on. Get this high music going. Great jumper. Skirts roll down. All your shirts done up, please, and your tie. Maybe what button up? Try, Janice. <laughs> You should as well, Carla. Make sure that's on your neck. Take that over. Around the back. Take the end of your tie and pull that through. Happy with that? Makes you feel like a big man, does it? I know what you were talking about. Flick's too good for you. The best thing she can do is find someone with a backbone so she can get you out of her system for good. I'm going to make sure we go out on the town this weekend and she's going to find herself a new fella. Someone who will appreciate her. Thanks a lot, Barbara. You what? We have to dress like we're going to some policy public school because of you. Um, and how's that my fault? Everything was cool until we got them done. Oh, in a bit. What's she like? And get Campbell. Like having a little knot in your tie as opposed to a big one's going to make a big difference. Thick, isn't it? I feel like a flaming soldier. Yeah, well, that's what they want. To turn us all into clones. It's Brian's fault. Well, if they want us all to turn into clones, we should turn ourselves into Janice clones. Do you know that poem you did in Miss Koresh's class? The words keep on going round and round and made it's like a song. Yeah? I moved around a bit, don't see nothing wrong with it. Someday I want to see the world, but with my favourite girl. <laughs> That's brilliant. Do you like it? I love it. 
Could be songwriters, us too, your lyrics, my music. <laughs> Oi, you owe me money. Yeah? My bag, my jacket and my trousers all ruined. And how's that his fault? Because if it weren't for his lot nicking all the lead off the roof, I wouldn't have got soaked. We haven't nicked any lead. <laughs> what do you think we are? Thieving skags. Maybe if your school wasn't so crap, the ceiling wouldn't have caved in. Oh, Paul, back off, yeah? Or as soon as Ariel gets out, I'll make sure he comes looking for you. I can't finish with you. We get hassle in every school we go to. That's why I don't like going. If you get any more hassle, you'll come and tell me, yeah? Just trying to help. Just stay out of my way. Look, Vic, can we talk, please? Why would I want to talk to you? I just, I don't understand why we can't still be friends. Friends don't treat each other like dirt. I'm sorry, okay? Molly, I don't even want to see you, let alone be mates. So if you think anything of me at all, you'll stay away. came up and started it all off. They could have got real nasty, sir. It's all right, though I sorted it out for you. All right, Sam, thanks. You really are going to have to keep our eye on this, you know, Eddie. It's all under control, Kim. Get a point, you! Give me my phone. Oh, I've got your phone. Oi, what's going on? What now? It was on my desk. Now it's gone. You were sat Why next to me. Why would I have your phone, eh? Give it him back. What? You heard me. Give him the phone back. <sighs> Listen, I've not got your flaming phone. You thieving skag. Happen. You've probably gone and give it to one of your skag of her friends, haven't you? Any idea which one? No. What's going on? Stolen phone. Shifted it faster than the artful dodger at the other side of the playground. Skag, you're used to be not going to get away with hey, what settle you down. Settle down, you two. Unless they're the name calling, or it'll be the cooler for all of you. He's got my phone. Oh, Did anyone actually see what went on? Have you seen oh, it? You're joking, aren't you? These professionals, it's all smoke and mirrors. Go on, Colin. Back to your football. And you, go and have a proper look for your phone. Bolton, go and help it. If you can't find it, find me. What's the matter with these lot? What's wrong? I need to talk to you. What happened? Look, Mum, you know that money I got, um... Oh, tell me you didn't steal it, Marley. Ralph Miller gave it me. Why? Why? Why, Why would he do that? We had a deal. Um... Look, he offered me five grand if I didn't see Flick anymore. I said no to him at first, but well, then we were evicted. So all this time we've been living off Ralph Meller's money? Mum, I was trying to put a roof over our heads. That is something that you should have been doing. Oh, that's right. Blame it on me. You know what? I'd rather you had stolen it than take anything from him. What was I supposed to do, Mum? You got us into this mess. Oh, why don't you just say it, Marley? Go on, say it. I'm a crap mother. Why don't you say it, Marley? Go on. Tell me what's on your mind. Why don't you? I'm crap, aren't I? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, you are a crap mother. <sighs> Thanks. I know I could count on you. Wait, Marley, wait, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mum, I am in so much trouble here. And it's killing me. I can't be with her. I'll get you the five grand. How? Leave it to me. You go and tell Flick what an idiot you've been. Hey, you're a bloke. She'll understand. Yeah. 
If Janice can get away with falses, so should everyone else. <laughs> Steady on. I'm gonna put it all in it. Sorry. <laughs> I've been thinking. I wonder how much our little franchise is worth. I don't know why. I just need to borrow some money. From the business? Well, yeah, if I could. Well, you've asked that before, Rose, and answer's still the same. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, we're just setting off. We don't want to put business at risk, do we? What about you? Could you lend me? Can't. Sorry. Oi. Why aren't you in class, Peters? Sorry, sir, I'm lost. You don't have any trouble finding your way to a supermarket car park in the dead of night. Yet you can't navigate your way to a classroom. I got a bit mixed up. Sorry. Look, you've got out with me. Come on, I'll show you. Wait. Got a map of the school? Use it. Late again, you're in detention. No, yeah, it's always like that. Madam, just because I'm overdrawn doesn't mean I haven't got any money. Yeah, well, you can tell the manager that I'm coming to see him right now. Uh, can we sort those ties out, please, ladies? Okay, Sorry, miss. Got lost. Okay. Take a seat. It's because he can't read, like his old man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you, uh, did you have something to say then, Liam? Yeah, I have, miss. Why is it that these don't have to wear uniform? And we all do. Well, if any of the travellers decide to come here full-time, then they'll also have to abide by the uniform rules. But for now, I think we can make an exception. Does that answer your question, Liam? OK. Sam? Eddie, you wanted to see me. Christmas 1914, what happened? Uh, well, the British and the Germans laid down their arms and played a game of football in no man's land, didn't they? Yeah. Well, how about you helping me build some bridges between the travellers and our lot here this lunchtime? Well, there's been a bit of name calling, Eddie. It's not World War I round here just yet. Well, the sooner we defuse any tensions on the pitch, the better. Oh, uh, the sooner you learn some hand-eye coordination, the better. Well, there's nothing like a level playing field for getting the kids to bond together. Well, uh, if you like, well, um, as I recall of World War One, come Boxing Day, they were picking up the rifles and shooting each other again. Uh, yeah, but as you said, hasn't got that bad yet, has it? Mr. Clarkson and I have organised a football match. Yeah. Our new arrivals versus Waterloo Road. Way, all right. So we'll see if we can settle our differences on the pitch. Has he never been to a United City match? It'll be a proper game, supervised by us. So after lunch, get togged up and we'll see you outside. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I've got to get him back. Oh, don't worry, man, we'll Trust me, I'll mash him up. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, everyone's doing it. What? Well, everybody thinks that the only girl that I look good in this club is Janice. 
you know, because of a boob job, and we don't think that's fair. We're just copying Janice. Go and take him out. Now! Job well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get Janice's mum in. What? What's wrong? Pickled onion. Kyle! What are you so smiley, smiley for? Oh. Just because I let him stay out late doesn't mean I don't love him. You know, I am there for those kids 24-7. Except for when I'm at work, but can't be there all the time, can you? Well, okay, so I haven't been brilliant in the past, but those kids don't want for love. I got their tea on the table. M most nights. He's come. It's five aside, man. <laughs> hey, mate, you play? Yeah. Well, one short. Fancy being a traveller? Go on, it'll be a laugh. Right. Come on, then. Then sit this one out, I'll play. Let's go and sort your shin out. Where's the ball? Give us that ball. That's a foul. Free yeah. kick to the travellers. Yeah. Play fair. Okay. Play on! He's my best boy. What the hell have I done to him? You know, he deserves better. I'm. I'm not fit to call myself that boy's mother. You're okay, Rose. Hmm? Do you think you're better off at home? What are you trying to say? That I can't do my job? 
I didn't say that, Rose. Well, what are you trying to say, then? Denzel's taken a tumble, but he's okay. See, it's dirt to this. What's going on? Is she blooded? Oh, yeah. A ton of vodka. Oh. Where were you? Hey, don't blame me. You need to get her out of here. Uh, when did she become my problem, oh. exactly? Look at the state of her. She needs help. Oh. Yeah, professional help. I'm a teacher, not a counsellor. Look, Tom, you need to get her out of here. She's a mess, and if she's caught like this, we'll lose business. Now, come on! Just need we'll the lose business. You! Get off! Oh, Stop touching me! No! Come on. Leave me alone! No! Hey, just calm down! Yeah, well, Turn left, on. that's the cooler. Find a seat and get in it. You can't do the time. No, in. stop it now! That's it. Other side of the room, Bob. Yeah. Oh, just keep calm with you. Paul, don't sit near her. Go on. Right, well, that seemed to go as well as expected, didn't it? I can tell you. What? Leave me alone. Have you finished? Huh? Mm. Good. No! Get off me! No! Get off me! Get me out of here, you clown! Get off! Get your hands off me! Excuse me, could you tell me where the head teacher's office is? Remember me like a safe me. Sure. Yep. Oh, I can point you in the right direction. Does Mr Lawson know you're coming? Well, I was asked to come in. Miss uh, Campbell, I think her name was. Oh, right. OK. Right, well, if you can just head up those stairs, hook a right, and the office is there. But, uh, can't be doing with all this. It's ruining me day, this has. I see you've met the legend that is Mrs. Bryant. Janice's mum. Hmm? Of course it is. I clearly saw that jip traveller boy having a go at Paul. Are you sure that's how it was? Couldn't have been the other way round. Mm -hmm. Positive. First I saw it was a full-scale riot. From what I could see, Bolton was giving it some. Well, I'm not going to tolerate this kind of behaviour. Separate them and keep the travellers in the cooler so they can figure out who to punish first. Well, you can't do that. That's victimising them. Well, what's the alternative? Allow rioting to break out all <laughs> over school? <laughs> oh, I've seen it all now. Never had this before they arrived. So what kind of message is that sending them? A, that they're not good enough to mix with our kids. I'm sure Rachel will be really pleased that her inclusion policy is working a treat. Would you rather they were fighting in the classrooms? Because that's what's going to happen next. No, that's not... All right, I'm here. What's she done now? Is this... 
this the answer? Huh? Does the situation miraculously fix itself the minute that you get pissed? That is enough, Tom. Leave it. You're supposed to be an adult. The kids have got more bloody sense than you. I said that's enough. Come on, then. Come on. Oh, no. Uh, it's about how some of the boys have been reacting to Janice's new look. Getting all up and bothered, are they? It's not just the boys. It's the comments and imitation of the girls as well. Just a bitcher. Huh? You have been drawing attention to yourself, though. Well, I told her just to go up a couple of cup sizes, but no, she had to go for Katie Price specials. Well, Janice has never been known for her moderation, but our concern is for our more impressionable pupils who are copying her. I've not asked them to do anything. I've done this for me. Yeah? Well, that and a career. I'm going to be a model. I think I like that. She should be showing it off. But not necessarily at school. It's not the right place, which is why we've asked you to come in. I mean, do you have to have your blouse and buttons so low? It's not my fault. I left the house this morning, it was all buttoned up. Ran for the bus and a few popped off. Uh, could you wear an extra few layers, you know, added insurance? What should she do, stick herself in a raincoat all day? Look, the bottom line is, while you're in school, I need you to set an example. The young girls look up to you. Is there any way you could... You know, cover up and dress appropriately. Ever heard of the freedom of expression? What are you, the clothes mafia? Look, the bottom line is we have a school uniform policy for a reason. All right, come on, fix the boats. Don't worry about her, love. Did you see her face? You're Miss Campbell. Green with jealousy. Are they all getting locked up as well? You're not locked up. All right then, so we can just walk out of here then, yeah? No, sit down. Look, we just don't allow fighting in this school. Tell that to them then, because they started it. We were just defending ourselves. Miss Shackleton. How they doing? Well, they're not happy. They keep saying they never started it. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking of everyone's safety. Granny will take over from here. And Granny, I'll thank you to keep your vitriol to yourself. How are you all doing? What do you reckon? You stuck us in here when we didn't do anything. You're no different to him. Just like everywhere we're going. How'd you get on? Bolton and Paul are still insisting that the travellers are the ones that started it. But I, I really think we need to get them out of there now. I don't like segregating them. Why do you always do that? Use words that make us out to be right-wing bully boys. Just listen for a minute, Kim. What can you hear? Calm. That's what. Excuse me. Oh, sir. Yes, Denzel, what's up? It wasn't their fault. Paul started it. I heard him in the canteen saying I was going to get that gypsy kid. Are you sure he said that? Come in. Yeah. Have a seat. So, Paul, what happened with your phone? You found it? No, sir. You reported it stolen, yeah? Um, not yet, sir, no. Don't you think you're better? I mean, someone could be running up a hefty bill. I will, yeah. Use the school phone if you like. Eh? To report it. 
I mean, if it's missing, we better move quickly. You're right, Paul. Your leg seems to be vibrating. Unless we've just found your phone. Why do you think I don't send him? It's less hassle keeping him off. Actually, it wasn't Kyle's fault. Our kids have got a lot to answer for. Look, I know Kyle can be a bit of a pain in the neck, but he's got a lot of potential. It'd be a huge boost to have him here full time. If that's what the boy wants. But he's always hated school. It's no different to a lot of kids his age. We've got ways around that. Stimulating the interests, that's the key. <laughs> The only thing he's interested in is stripping down that flaming quad bike. Well, if he knows his way around an engine, maybe I can push him in the direction of an MVQ and mechanics. He shows a lot of promise in English, too. I promise you, our teachers will bring out the best in him. He could do really well in his GCSEs in a couple of years. And if you do decide to put down roots, then I can help you with the housing. Could be good for the lad. Getting some qualifications, I suppose. Hmm. Flick. I've got nothing to say to you. Flick, come on, please, hear me out, all no, right? you blew it, Marley. Flick, wait. I was stupid, OK? Everything was going great, but you decide it's not working and you finish it. Why, Marley, what was so bad that you had to do that? What did I do? Nothing. I must have done something wrong. I lie awake at night with it going through my head. Or is that just how you get your kicks? Yeah, come off. Come on, I can understand you being angry, okay? I was wrong. Damn right. So get over it like I'm having to. Flick, come on, I miss you. Flick, I love you. I really love you. Come in, Kyle. Uh, have a seat. You haven't had an easy day today, have you? <sighs> You've been a bit of a handful, to be honest. But I can understand why. I owe you an apology, mate. Didn't quite get it right today, did we? Well, not all of us, because Miss Koresh is a big fan. And it seems you made a good friend in Sambuca. But we didn't quite get off on the right foot. And I'd like a chance to put that right. This is a, a great school, but it's only bricks and mortar. It's the pupils that make it. Kids not unlike yourself. Wherever we go, there's, there's always someone who gives us hassle. Why do you think I never like going to school? Yeah, I can understand that. But you know what, sir? This place is kind of cool. <sighs> Today's been OK, sir. I don't know to cool stuff. And I can I'll be back tomorrow. But that's, that's good news, Kyle. Here you go. There's a meeting tonight. There's the address. I told you, I only drink when I'm stressed, when I need to unwind. You can dress it up any way you like, Rose. You're in denial. What, the blackouts, the hangovers, blaming other people for the reason that you drink? You've got a problem and you need to deal with it. Just go, Rose. For sick of kids. Don't try and emotionally blackmail me. Right, well, if you're not prepared to make effort, I don't see why I should. I'm not going to carry you while this business goes down the tube. That's what's going to happen, Rose. I mean, look at what you're throwing away. All right, I I'll go, OK? Just to prove you two wrong and to prove that I am not dependent on drink. But... Please, you can't tell anyone. Well, I don't see any reason why anybody else has to know. 
I'm, I mean it, you know, not anyone, not Davina. This stays between us three. Well, if she asks, I'm not going to lie. Well, Tom, if I make this promise to you, I need you to promise me this. All right. for housing for the family of one of our traveller pupils. Look at this day. Alright, Janice. Well, Ben. Everyone stops talking about me. Staring at me. I'm sorry, it would be great to be noticed, but when I am, I just wait to go away. <laughs> what? The things that doctors put inside you. The implants. Are they supposed to make you happy? Yeah. I think so. They're working. Yeah. Not good. Oh, I'm sure they'll be very pleased to hear that. Now, will you send the form here for my attention, Eddie Lawson? Good. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Kyle. Go on, I'll catch it up. Guess what? It's all sorted. Your dad, the housing. It's all down to you now, mate. For real? <laughs> nice one. Didn't take them long. Come on, mate. Choice. That's not fair, you've only been here two minutes. That's the way it happens sometimes. I don't want you to go, Kyle. Are you going to come back? Yeah. Have this. Kyle, please don't go. Kyle, don't go, please. Kyle. What's going on? We've been given our marching orders. You can't do that. They can't. That's why we move around so much. <laughs> You've only just got here. Look, let me put a phone call into the council. It was a phone call to them that did it. It's all right. We're used to it. We better get going. See you, sir. Shame. Kind of like this place. What do you two think you're doing? These are people's homes.
Look, um, I still gotta get that money back to Ralph, though, yeah? Mom, tell me you've managed to get some of it back, please. No, I, I'm working on it. I'm working Mom, on it. Mom, I don't need working on that. I need it done, okay? I'm sorting it, Marty. Trust me. 